Stuff happens, stuff goes wrong, but I try to keep it 100. I won't let anybody this week take me from zero to 100 real quick. I can't believe we've reached a century. I'm Daniel, and this is Asheville Weekly, episode 100. It should be out by now. I don't think there was movement. You have to keep going till it's done and your belly hits your stomach. No, I don't. <laughs> it was brutal and people are very scared to test the strength. Do you feel lucky? You're not allowed to say Ribena, who stayed here late with me and helped me. You will be disappointed. We're at the end of the road. Making a camera waddle. It's Monday morning and I'm in the yard. To be precise, it's bank holiday Monday. I went and trained this morning and I've popped in to try and catch up with some work. And yes, this is Asheville Weekly episode 100. It's a fantastic achievement that we're all proud of. We have um, fully documented what we are doing in this business for 100 weeks in a row. However, if you're expecting a load of special guests and an, an open top material handler and a train parade, I'm sorry, but you will be disappointed. Just because it's the 100th week that we've been documenting, technically, for 712 weeks before we started, I was doing the same thing and it was a lot less glamorous. And I'm sure none of you would have wanted to watch when I was sitting in my mum's in my boxer shorts, uh, making websites with pictures of building work that I didn't do uh, trying to grow this business. I think it's a lot more interesting now that I've got a lot of kit around me and we're doing a lot of exciting jobs. Asheville is an operational group of companies. Uh, we do waste management, uh, we do aggregates, we do concrete, we do construction, and we are documenting what happens and things genuinely go wrong here and that is what we share with you. Uh, this isn't structured um, drama, this isn't structured reality, this is genuinely what happens. So just because this is the hundredth week, I can't go out of my way and start filming a bunch of stuff that's gonna take me away from running the core business. I'm doing that enough at the moment. Also, there seems to be some confusion. I never said I was gonna stop at a hundred episodes. I said things would change. We are on a journey to a hundred episodes and when we get to that point, it will be celebrated but there will be a drastic change. Now, things are always changing at Asheville and a lot of things are gonna change for me. So, um, like with all building projects or all jobs you see us serving, um, we are evolving all the time. Now, there will be changes coming, but I am gonna tell you those at the end of the video. Now, I have a lot of work to do. It's Bank Holiday Monday, but as I always say, Asheville is not a bank. I'm gonna get on with my work and we'll reconvene on Tuesday morning. Tuesday and I'm in the yard. Um, I've spent most of today and I've just realized that I don't have my watch on because I was about to look at the time. That's how busy I've been today. Um, something I thought could never happen. I had a great relationship with a company I'm not going to mention. I thought everything was good. And today, I won't say they turned on me, but the economy has turned and people are very scared and they're acting in a different way. And I had an unexpected problem that is probably one of the worst problems I've ever had. I'm still yet to resolve it. So, uh, sorry if my energy is a bit low, man, but like this is one of the worst things. You know when you read an email and you get an adrenaline rush and your belly hits your stomach and you think, what, how could this possibly happen? I had one of them. Rudy's just turned up to do the tracking on both the Volvo tippers. Michael O'Donovan's clearly washed Asheville Weekly and uh, the basketball, because now Michael fancies himself as a bit of basketball player. Come on, Dan, now here we are. We're playing basketball outside Tottenham. <laughs> the lads are putting the finishing touches on the box down at QPR.
in week uh, 100, one of the announcements, not the main announcement, we have now decided to open up international shipping. Uh, we've been using a distribution company for six months now and only little mishap we had was the chicken fillets, breast pads that went out for Father's Day, which was a big one. But other than that, they've had a 99% success rate. So international shipping is now open. Uh, just a little message to everyone in St. Lucia. The head of distribution, AKA my mother, she is now officially retired from distributing to St. Lucia. So please do not pressure her for magazines, cups, hoodies, considering it's too hot for hoodies, umbrellas, and Asheville umbrellas are perfect to shade yourself from the sun. And I've also been told that now, when you're on YouTube, on a mobile or desktop, you can actually see the range of Asheville bits uh, below the video, which is cool. We're gonna wait for the umbrellas and the hoodies to sell out before we drop all the new stuff that is coming, which is currently in the design stage. No, it's not in the design stage, it's in prototype stage. I now have to go back upstairs, deal with this problem, and I have to have a shower and get changed and I have to get to QPR. And I will tell you the time if, if I knew what it was. One minute to go and we are free one up. Looks like we're under pressure a bit, but I think, <laughs> I think we have the victory in our hands. Yeah, you think it's done, yeah? It's done, it's done. It's like two minutes left, bro. Two minutes left, apparently it's done. It's Wednesday and I'm in the yard. Terry was sat at home bored. And where I'm a good guy, Terry said, Dan, I'm sitting on board. Are you in the office? I said, yeah. He said, I, I might pop down. I said, look, Terry, I don't think that that's a good idea. You should stay at home. You should rest. You should stay away from work. And he was like, Dan, please, I beg of you, let me come into the office and just catch up. And what could I say when the man said that? <laughs> so here he is dressed for summer in his Havanas, like he's about to walk on the beach in I know, Brazil. It's bad, isn't it? Flip flops in England. <laughs> 90 flip-flops in England, flip-flops in the yard. In West Drayton. In West Drayton. Yeah. I've never seen anyone wear flip-flops to yeah, the yard. I'm sorry. We're not, don't do any foolish, do a close-up of his foot and all that. Ain't that type of show, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, he's alone, um, working on weekly episode 99, and Will is at the cinema project, which is finished, but now we're looking at work in the house and we're looking to do their entire house uh, with a control four system. So Will has to go there with Burnish. And they are pulling out the existing lighting. They're having a look at all the blinds and they're seeing what we need to put in place so we can price this job accurately and give uh, the client a cost for the work, which I believe they want to go ahead with because they're so happy with the control four system that's in their cinema. In other news, we have a Volvo in the repair bay. It's taken a couple of slaps. The cyclist side rails are all over the place. And so we need to take it off, re-weld everything and fix it. And while we were doing our checks around the lorry, there was some minor, and I mean minor movement in a few of the kingpins, but I, I don't think there was movement, but the fitter says there's movement and you're not allowed any movement like that at all. And on the second axle, there was a bit of uneven brake wear by 20%. So we are doing that now also. This morning, because Will wasn't here and Friday was here alone, unfortunately for you guys, cause I know it's the whole reason you watch this and it's why someone wrote it on the KSI video, train montages. Do you know someone wrote that on the KSI video? Okay. They wrote, is anyone here for a train montage? <laughs> <laughs> we K couldn't film KSI it. KSI wasn't. No, he wasn't. No. <laughs> so we've set up a time lapse. You'll just have to watch this time lapse sped up at a thousand miles an hour. You may or may not know, that we tested the skip boat at sea on Saturday. Riding along in my skip boat. Everybody thought it was a joke. I need Will to see the speed, to see the boat, and see the cliffs of Dover at the same time. I love being at the wheel. And I can't believe we made this real. 
riding along in my skateboard. After um, Sam provided um, all the method statements and risk assessments to the Harbour Board, they actually listed it as a vessel. <laughs> Let's have a look <laughs> here. So the skip boat was listed on the itinerary from the Dover Harbour. Look at it, it says Skip Rita. So it's, it's not officially a vessel, but it was included in all the movements that the vessels were doing at Dover. Terry and I are gonna have this conversation about the insurance. Do we go for one year or do we go for a three year deal? We're going on worst case scenarios and best case scenarios, but when did anything here ever end up as the best case scenario? You know, and people say, do you feel lucky? No, I don't. <laughs> not as like. So we're gonna discuss the insurance and then Terry, as he's missed the place so much, we'll sleep here tonight. I'm gonna to offer him my sofa and he's gonna stay here and catch up with all his emails and see all the great emails that I did where I CC'd him so he wouldn't fall behind. Have you missed the place? I thought I did. And Until I, you came in. And then when I got out of the cab, I was like, oh my, what, what, <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? I should have just stayed at home watching David Attenborough. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> David Attenborough is a rude boy. Mm. Right. That's it for now. We've got nothing else for us to do. Not really, mate, no. Nothing. Nothing else. Nothing further to add. No? Nothing really to go on camera. Um, there's so many things across so many um, different businesses that I need to chase and make sure I'm on top of. And I've realized if I don't chase it, it will never get done. Like it will never get done unless I'm constantly on it, on it, on it, on it. I, ca I cannot let anything slip by. I cannot be careless in any way. I have to remember everything or it just won't happen. Just, you have to follow up. You have to keep going till it's done. That'll do. It is 6.41 p.m. It's Thursday, I'm in the yard. I planned the days of this week meticulously, but it just went so wrong today. I was meant to film two standalone videos this evening. I filmed nothing. We had a problem with the cloud, kind of the problem was a little bit self-engineered, but all of the shared notes deleted about four or five hours ago. And as we ran to different bits of kit that are signed into the cloud, and tried to turn off the Wi-Fi to stop it updating. Everything was vanishing before our eyes. Until Will drove to my house, uh, got my laptop out of my house, and he took the laptop outside, he opened it, turned off the Wi-Fi, brought it back here, and we have just spent the last few hours airdropping, transferring all the notes that were deleted putting them all back on the system and then giving everyone access to it again. It was brutal. I was meant to do watch throughs of weekly and skip boat part three today. I didn't do any of that. I'm supposed to learn something else, what I'm trying to do tomorrow. I didn't do any of that. Ugh. The day is like completely a blur and I have no idea what time I'm leaving here tonight. Thank God, I, I went and trained like at five this morning, so at least I haven't got to go to the gym. So I had to have, you know, a, a drink and some caffeine and I'm, I don't know when I'm gonna leave. Uh, today, um, 
The yard looked busy enough, even though I was a bit lost. I saw we had a cement delivery. Uh, we had a delivery of fuel. I thought the train was coming and we were sitting around waiting for the train. The train didn't come, but I am told the train will be here tomorrow. And I meant to be filming another video on Saturday. And I haven't wrote a script or any notes for it. So now I'm going to write that. So this will explain to you why I can't fabricate and do special things for episode 100. But this is what is really going on. So I'm actually going to get let Shukute Productions go home now, who stayed here late with me and helped me to get it sorted. Uh, looking at the cameras, I see it's going to be one of those ones where Daniel and Ara are in the yard till 1 or 2 a.m. Tell me no more. Does your mate wave the white flag? Which one? Well, I upset in that match. <laughs> my Irish, my Irish fans are telling me your mate waved the white flag because I've done it. Like a bit, but they told me he was a sticker man. Um, do you know what? The things you said about him, I've been thinking to myself: Do they have more to do? with the changes he's making in his business or the Kennedy assassination. And I can't work out which one, mate. I'd go for the Kennedy assassination in his SS yeah. So I would say that is it. So, mate, are uh, you in, if mate? You don't, if you do not start, whoa, 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 whoa. I am your only friend in the business and you obviously don't realize you don't answer my phone calls anymore. No, mate, you don't understand, mate. I was in the yard till half nine last night. I'm under pressure, man. Like, I just, when you- Pressure is for tires in cars, I keep telling you. <sighs> pressure for tires in cars. I'm under pressure, mate. Well, what's wrong? Tell me, and I tell Uncle Michael. Uncle Michael will solve all your problems. Michael, I, 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 all, all Uncle Michael will do is laugh at me and say, "Thank God it's going as bad for you as it is for me." I ain't silly. I ain't telling you. It's never been easy this job. It's all right for you to say. You're, you're, you're in, you're in the golden era. You're about to be set out to stud, mate. You've done the hours. The, that's it. They sent out the grass. That's about it. <laughs> the firm. <laughs> your sister sold the firm. You're gonna. Do you know what I mean? You're, you're gonna get hundred quid in an envelope. And <laughs> you're gonna be sent on your way. You could just sit. You could just sit out with your little ponies, just enjoying the rest of life. Yeah, the, the job's getting harder. You got to jump through a lot of hoops in this job, mate. It's like being in a circus. Similar, similar. So similar. you you got all the problems. It's like Jurassic Park. You got all the problems of a zoo and a theme park and a building site all at the same time. What's this James Bond bit? You want to be James Bond? They they reckon I want to be James Bond. Now, what I actually said is, I'm going to leave it to Idris Elba, is what I said. Oh, well, I reckon you said you wanted to be James Bond. I said he wouldn't be no good as James Bond. You ain't limp nimble like me. I better jump about the place. See me at the basketball, see me saying you had the basketball the other day. Yeah, I did, mate. I did. I saw you playing basketball. And what I've done is I've spoke to the lads. So next year at the Celebrity Basketball, you'll be playing. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've hurt me leg. So what else is happening out there? Must be saying anything good. Nothing exciting, mate. Not an exciting. It's been a tough couple of How weeks. Did you the basketball? Did you lose? There can be no losers at a charity basketball event. There are only winners, Michael. Did yeah, we lost. We lost. Yeah, yeah, we lost. Yeah, we lost. We lost. Yeah. You didn't have enough practice. You'd have come down to me and I'd have showed you. How to do. I used to play the school basketball team when I was young. I nearly went schooling your way. I tried to get in London Oratory. They weren't. Out, they weren't having it. I got into St Thomas More, and I got into St Aloysius, but I ended up going St Thomas More. In Chelsea? Yeah. Ah, that's where you got all your brain from then. Then again, you mustn't have got much brain so you wouldn't have bought a zipper. There is that. Do you know what the definition of insanity is, Michael? Zipper. Nope. 
doing the same oh. thing repeatedly and expecting a different outcome. You know what? That is dead right. Mm. Well, well. <laughs> Michael, my brother, you are older, you are than, older me, than me, but I am feeling the pressure. And this call isn't Fire helping. Oh. I'm online looking again about this concrete testing machine to test the strength of the concrete. Um, but I'm trying to think of the first concrete mixes that I'm going to test. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test like a C20 and a C35. Um, I know our concrete's up to strength, but let's just see if it works, see if the readings come out. And then we're going to start using substitutes for the material and see what strength that concrete is. Let us know if you can think of anything we should be mixing into the concrete or substitutes, something we can substitute for sand, something maybe we can substitute for stone or even water. You're not allowed to say Ribena. You're not allowed to say that. But any other suggestions you have. The only thing we're not changing is the cement. Maybe we can add some... I wonder if you make, this, make it different colors, does it affect the strength? Anyway, have a think, let us know. I can't see you in the shop. There you go. It's Saturday morning. It's um, 10 past six. Me and Shukyut Productions are en route, heading up to Peterborough. And we're running a little bit late. Um, I didn't leave the yard last night until gone half ten. Ara and Friday were working on skip boat and weekly. Um, I'm not sure what time they finished. So we're going to head down to Peterborough. I'm um, going to do my bit of action. And then I'm going to hopefully get back to the yard for about one o'clock. I've got more filming to do and just check everything's going well. And then try and catch up with any work and have a conversation with Chimek about the work list for Monday. Now, I know I always say that I use the car for what it's meant to be used for, but today I genuinely did. The time now is 12.45, shooting is overrun, about two hours more than I wanted to. The team, Chimek and everyone are probably leaving the yard at three o'clock. I'm not going to make it back in time, so I'm going to have to do all my calls and try and do everything over the phone. Then when I get back to the yard, I um, need to go into the video suite. We're working on two videos. From what I can see, skip boat hasn't gone out yet. We probably had some difficulties or, or complications. More than likely, we were uploading it to YouTube and we had a problem doing that. It's been a long day and it's not over. Look at that. It's got bucket seats. I was gonna get to have a go in this, but I'm not gonna fit. Now I have a steering wheel. Hold on. Smokes a little bit black when we're on boost. A serious, serious boost this one does. Oh yeah. You'll hear it when I'm going around the car. Handmade turbocharger that makes quite a nice sound for a diesel engine. I'm gonna warm her up. This way, this time. What is he doing? He's mad. Pretty rubbish about me going round. <laughs> a bit different going through, isn't it? Slightly different machine. What an animal. I think I'm gonna have to come back in. Back at the yard, uh, Will has ingested all the footage and he's now gonna show me what some of it looks like. See, we need to put this uh, video together like on a deadline, like this has got to go out on Thursday. So Friday, who's filming now, sorry, my man, you will be under some serious pressure next week. Come on, Will, show me what I went and destroyed my car for. 
this is. <laughs> that looks like, like GTA. It, it does look like. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! That looks mad. All right, what else you got? What else you got? Um, um, some drone stuff. Show me some drone. Look at the angle that I was driving on. Look at that. Right, stop, stop. Play. Look what I went and did to my car, man. You know I'm a stunt driver, innit? Yeah. I don't feel so bad now about spending my entire day there today. Ooh, look at that. It's amazing the water actually came into the thing. Now, I'm kind of happy with that. What do you think? It's not bad. It's all right. Not bad. I must destroy my whip for not bad. What, is it not bad? Bruv, you filmed it. So what, you, what, you don't like the footage? No, it turned out okay. It turned out okay. Yeah, all right, great. So, <laughs> what's the things that I put my, my whip and my health and my life on the line and he films it and then turns around and says that the footage is okay. Well, hopefully we get an okay edit out of it. Guys, if you haven't seen the video yet, um, it should be out by now. It should be out. It's gonna be a sick video. Like I risk my life and my car and my integrity <laughs> and a lot more than that to do this video. So give it a watch when you get a minute. It's 4.20 p.m. in case you didn't realize. I'm about to drop the car around to the car wash. Uh, I didn't make it back before um, Shimek left, but we spoke on the phone. I think he's got everything covered for Monday and it has rained. Now I thought it would help clean my car, but it didn't. But I've just remembered when it's rained is that I did in fact cover the compressor and I did in fact cover the skip boat. So the skip boat shouldn't be getting wet anymore. We had hoped to bring you the skip boat video earlier, but it wasn't possible. I put out an ad for a new role, which is business development. It's an ad we've put out in the past and we didn't have um, a suitable applicant, but the ad has gone out again. Uh, let's hope that we have um, some people come through the door because as I said, we're trying to recruit new people into the business. <clears throat> and we're at the end of the road. Guys, that is it for episode 100. And from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank all of you for coming on this journey with me. Even if you've watched one episode, you watch 10 or you've watched every single one, I thank all of you because I know your time is precious and hopefully you can tell how much we put into these videos. There's a lot of people who put their heart and soul into it and thank you. And I will not be stopping, but things will change. Now, when I started on this content journey, I didn't know where it would take me. Now, I've been drip feeding you guys information for the past few months and I keep telling you I can't give you all the information. Well, I still can't tell you everything, but what I can tell you is that your boy is scheduled to film a series which focuses on one of my passions, which is engineering. Now, this is with a well-known American production company, and it's gonna be released on a global network in 2023. Yes. So your boy's gonna be traveling a lot. So we are still gonna make videos, but those videos won't be what you have seen in the yard day in and day out. But don't worry, we are still gonna bring you regular videos, but it may change slightly as you follow me on my journey as I travel and I go to different countries and I try to keep my eye on the business and have a bird's eye view when I'm in other countries. So this could be me in hotels, sitting on Zooms, talking to Terry, but the team are still staying in place. They'll be here, they'll be filming, and I'll be filming away. And some of them will come out to meet me in other countries, and then we'll be sending the footage back here to be edited. Now the plan for episode 101, because I'm gonna be traveling so much, we are gonna put Asheville Weekly back by another week. So there will be a two week gap between when we film it and when we put it out. And we need to do this as well because we need clearance from some of the networks on some of the things which we are going to say. So don't worry. So Asheville Weekly episode 101 is gonna come out on Sunday, September the 25th. But don't worry, next Sunday, we are still gonna bring you a video. There will also be a slightly new look and feel. Uh, I wanna refresh it. I wanna have a couple of um, new graphics, maybe change the intro music. You know, just switch it up a little bit and refresh it because we are gonna keep going, but it's gonna change slightly and it's gonna continue to evolve the way you have seen us do week in, week out since we started. And that's it for Asheville Weekly, episode 100. Click here for the Asheville website. Click here to subscribe to our channel. Click here to see Asheville Weekly, episode one. And click here for last week's episode, which was number 99.
a hundred weeks back to back 